Hi, Gordon here. Welcome to the Quarantine Math Challenges. This is the third video, so I've got a really nice little puzzle for you. You are going to uh, be looking at trees, and uh, not trees like this, but uh, you can imagine that you're looking down on top of a tree and these are the major branches. So the question is, um, what is a tree uh, in the mathematical sense? In the mathematical sense, a tree is connected. So here are three trees. This is not one tree, this is, these are three trees. Secondly, uh, there can be no loops in a tree. So for example, that loop that you see in the bottom there, it's a triangular loop, uh, that is illegal. So uh, the important thing to realize about trees is that they can move about in all sorts of ways and they stay the same. So it doesn't matter if I pull it, push it, it's kind of like an elastic tree, a rubber tree. So uh, these are actually all the same tree because you can move one to make it another one. Uh, let's look specifically at the uh, types of uh, different points that you have here. So this point in the middle, you can see that it's like no other point in the tree. It's right in the middle and these you can rotate it and you can see that those two there that were colored green, those two are kind of exactly the same point. Um, they, they, if, if you were to, if you were blind and you were to feel this tree, you couldn't really tell the difference between those two points. Uh, these points, these leaves, if you like, on the outside of the tree, uh, those are all the same as well. You couldn't tell one leaf from another leaf if you were closing your eyes and just moving around this uh, elasticated object. So we're going to call this a one, two, four tree. Of course, the colors don't matter, so we're just going to call it one, two, four. There is in black. Here is another tree. I want you to figure out. You've got 10 seconds to figure out what you would call this. 10, 97, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, there we go. Of course, this is a point that's unlike any other point. Uh, this point here is the only point that touches exactly two other points, so it's also unique. Um, are these two different from these two? Well, remember that you can move around these points like this. This is totally acceptable. So no, all of those points are the same at the top, so we can color them the same. Those are all yellow here. And is this yellow? No, because that is the only point that, uh, the only leaf that doesn't touch the blue. So no, that's different too. So we have to color that differently. So here we have a one, 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 four uh, tree. Okay, last one, and then I'm going to set you an assignment. What is the, uh, the number, the vector, if you like, for, for this tree. Well, these are different from these, are different from these, and then there's just one in the middle. So this is one, two, two, two. Okay, so these are all of the different ways that you can, on the right-hand side, those are all of the different ways that you can partition up um, seven. So seven can be one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one, or it can be further down the list, one plus three plus three, or it can be three plus four. So these are all of the different ways that you can um, uh, split up seven. So um, we are going to, I want you to identify, oh, we've, we've already done this. Yeah, so this one goes to, uh, uh, th those ones go like that. So these, these are only some of the seven point trees. I could ask you to go and now solve for all of the seven point trees, but instead I'm going to give you, um, um, so I could ask you to do this, but I'm actually gonna start a little bit simpler. Here are the six point trees. I want you to solve that. So again, 10 seconds, turn off the video if you want to try to figure out where, um, those are all of the six point trees. I want you to figure out which uh, uh, vectors on the right correspond to which of the trees. You ready? 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, here we go. And there they are. Good. So we could um, construct a graph now. So um, 
here we've, we've done the work for number six. Um, here we see that the red ones don't correspond to any tree, um, or the pale pink. They don't correspond to any tree, whereas the blue ones correspond to one tree. Uh, let's look at all of the seven pointers now, and you can solve for that. There we go. That is the solution for um, the seven point trees. You'll notice that two of them are dark blue. There's actually two trees that go to one comma two comma two comma two. Two different trees that go to, go to the same point there. And now let's look at the former, the, the first five. Here's the five, four pointer, three pointer, two pointer, and one pointer. And you can figure out where those go. Okay, so I find this a really interesting uh, set of data. One of the things that, that's interesting is the number of pinky regions that don't have any tree associated with them. That is increasing from zero to one to two to three to four to five to six as we're going from the left to the right of the graph. Do you think that's going to continue or is that just pure luck? So that's the first uh, thing that we're going to experiment with. And the best way to experiment with it is a very hard thing. You guys get to work on the, uh, the eight point trees. And I'm not going to tell you uh, those eight point trees. I'm not going to show you what they are. I will tell you that there's 23 of them. So in our next video, we're going to uh, recap some of the puzzles that we've already looked at this ser series, and I'm going to uh, showcase the eight-point trees, and you guys can, can see if you got the right results. Take care. Enjoy.